Hey, good morning. I uh, hope everybody's having a great, great day here. Uh, this is an important message, so I feel like I'm a public service announcement here because it is it's, it's vicious. We had a client a couple weeks ago that, that got caught up in this. It's very, very important. And um, with, with the fraud that's out there, especially wire fraud, when it comes to purchasing a house, okay, when it comes to towards the end, okay, or even at the very beginning, when you start talking about numbers and, and to wire funds, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you talk to your title company or slash attorney who's doing the closing, okay? If you have a processor involved in that process, okay, from, from the lender side, which you usually do, make sure you talk to the processor as well and, and get the exact numbers from them and, and the exact uh, instructions from them. Don't get, don't just take an email and run with it, okay? Make sure you confirm and confirm and confirm with the title company and confirm with your processor, the lender, what exactly has to be wired and what the instructions are. Don't, don't just take a random email that looks like from a title company coming to you or, or looks like from a lender coming to, you know, coming to you. Um, basically, if you see something like that, Okay, when it has to do with your own funds, here's the easiest way to 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 stay away, you know, to to stay away from this. If you if, if there's any email that has to do with funds going from you to the closing agent, that's when you pick up the phone and call. Okay, but I would do that beforehand. But if that comes to you, stop everything. Don't just follow along. I know we're all busy. We're running around with work, and especially trying to buy a house. You're trying to run around for that stuff. You're trying to probably sell a house and buy a house. So that that's double the uh, stress. But just be aware of that, okay? Very, very important here because if you don't do that and take the time to pick up the phone and talk to your title company and say, hey, is this the correct email? Or, you know, same thing, you know, as far as the processor or as far as the lender, um, then that could be huge, huge trouble, okay? So just be aware of that. Uh, very, very important. It has nothing to do with mortgage guidelines, but this is about your safety. It's about your family. And it's about the, the safety of your assets, okay? Because if, if that gets locked up, it's not like, okay, like the bank can shut it down right away. If it's too late, then you're, you're talking about a whole investigation that, that, that can go on. It's, it's at least 48 hours plus that, uh, and it can really screw you up. So if you see any emails come to you, I'm going to say this again, any emails come, come to you from the title company or from the lender about funds coming out of your pocket, out of your account to the title company, stop, verify, call, and then move forward from that point, okay? Hopefully that helps somebody because it is ratcheted up big time. It seems like it's on steroids right now. So any questions, just let me know. Looking forward to uh, helping you guys uh, navigate through this crazy world of digital. Um, and uh, I can't stress this enough. This is an important message. So please, please share this. Uh, talk to your people about it. If you're in a market to buy a house, please remember this uh, when it comes time to that. Uh, and then we'll go from there. All right. Any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.